Yo, what's going on, guys? What Paddy Kills here, man. We have another event breakdown video in NHL Hockey Ultimate Team. Today's event is the Stanley Cup playoff event. Uh, we've getting a bunch of stuff. Um, event objective: score 122 goals, um, score 182, score 132 goals, uh, 382 goals, 400 shots on goal, 800 shots on goal, win 300 games. Win 60 games, 400 hits, and earn 50 stars in the hot challenges. I think after all this, you do end up getting a um, a collectible. So um, the objectives look pretty nice. You get you end up getting a gold collectible for uh, gold like collectible icon collectibles. So I'm, I mean, I'll take it. I think that's pretty cool that you do end up getting collectibles now instead of getting like the. I think that's definitely cool. Um, this is basically free gold collectibles and icon collectibles right there for you guys. Um, here's all of the cards. We have obviously 97 Kucherov, 97 uh, Sergey Gonchar, 97 Jordan Bennington, 97 Reese Richard. I am a big fan of the uh, cover art. I, I think the cover art is really good. Uh, I do like the cover art uh, of this event. Yeah, but here, I mean, Future of Angel, 32 cards. I'm, I mean, I'm not going to really break down these cards. Um, they still have the Champion Club cards. The Prime Times are still in the game. And they, I mean, I don't know. There's, there's some new the packs as well um i'm i mean the the road to summer campaign the shades of summer uh you very very close to finishing this car i think you guys just need to get a couple more of the uh shades of summer collectibles uh but i mean let's go see what this event is looking like with the cars and the packs uh the pass very 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 similar to any other event in the game obviously you got round one pack you got the stanley cup overtime pack and then you got the Stanley Cup Playoff Beard Pack. Yo, it is what it is, man. Um, to be honest, I don't know. This event kind of looks very, very, like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm really, really that excited for this event. Uh, but here it is. So you trade in uh, 25 gold collectibles, I'm thinking, for a random choice of a round one Stanley Cup master item, which is uh, either uh, Kucherov, Maurice Richard, Gaunt, or Bennington. Uh, here's kind of the collectible sets, the 52 collectibles. Uh, you trade in 52 clubs, we get a choice. Uh, I, you basically, you know, what is it? Um, 12 gold collectibles and the rest are just Stanley Cup collectibles. You trade in all of this, you get the choice of one of 14 match set items. Uh, trade in 28 collectibles. Uh, I mean, here's the double gold collectible pack. You trade in, uh, I think, 60 playoff collectibles. Oh, no, you trade in 60 uh, NHL gold players and you get two gold packs. So... Everyone should be doing this set right here. Um, that's two gold collectibles right there, pretty much, uh, which is pretty nice. So here is. I'm not gonna go through all the sets, but uh, the sets are pretty pretty similar to previous ones. Uh, you trade in a uh, a carbon collectible and a gold collectible, and then you get the 86 overall Mies Richard. Uh, after that, you trade in uh, 86 Mies Richard, bunch of gold collectibles, and you get the 91. After that, you train the 91, a bunch more gold collectibles, you get the 96. And then, obviously, if you want to get the 97, you train three more gold collectibles. Now, this is, it's a lot of gold collectibles. Uh, it's three gold collectibles right here. Um, three gold collectibles. I mean, what? That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 gold collectibles, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, 14. Plus another, what, another nine. Um, I mean, duh, that's a lot of gold collectibles. You're, you're basically getting for the 97. Um, is it worth it? I'm not sure, bro. Because you got you to gotta also understand there's still uh, another 97 card you can make uh, with the uh, Shades of Summer collectibles and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if I'm really a big fan of this event. I mean, it, it's going to cost you a lot of gold collectibles. Um, I am really interested to see the... Uh, the entire cards though i think we'll see that in a minute uh but i mean i'm not really a big fan of kind of just i don't know i feel like just i'm not really that big of a fan of this event so far looking at this event i can definitely say it's kind of an l um this might this this probably is going to be the final of big event in the game as well so it's kind of disappointing but let, we'll check out all of the uh the match set players we have jordan bennington uh who's got 10 four points to balance two points to spark two points to swarm looks really good uh, we've got Sergey Gontra, who's got four points of distributed, two points to wingman, two points of magician. Uh, I mean, he looks, again, look, looks like a pretty good card. Uh, I mean, we're at a point, what, we're in May. Basically, every single card should be good, so he's 97. Uh, I mean, 95 max speed, kind of wish he goes up to a 98. It's fine, though. He's got max 
shooting stats, max hands, uh, pretty much max checking, strength set at 96. Um, he, he's a decent card you can obviously have. 97 Kucherov, 4 points of heart and soul, 2 points of workhorse, gladiator. Same thing with him. I mean, the max speed he'd get to would be a 98. He's got max hands, max shooting, uh, pretty much max checking, except for 93 discipline uh, and then 96 shot blocking. Looks pretty good. I mean, you get distributor active at 98 speed, pretty much gets to max speeding, uh, skating stats as well. Plus, with the 97 strength, really good card is this Nikita Kucherov. Uh, here's a Mish Rashard card. I'm, I'm, I mean, you guys already know. Card looks nice. Gets four points to spark, two points to speed, sure, two points to shutdown. Um, the 95 discipline's good. 99 strike, 99 body checking. Um, he's pretty much uh, got 99 everything as well. So, those are kind of all the cards. Um, I mean, we, we just came from team of, team of the season. So, I mean, I don't know really how much these cards are going to be that good. I mean, it's going to cost you a lot of gold collectibles to make one of these cards. Um, I'd rather just make these two. Because it's, it's, it's kind of cheaper in a sense where you're not using too many collectibles. Uh, and I feel like these cards are just much better as well. I mean, that's just me though. Um, that's how I feel personally though. Drop a like, subscribe, tell me if you guys, if you guys think this event's a W or a L. I'm pretty sure there is going to be some, yeah, here it is. Some hot challenges uh, for the Stanley Cup playoffs where you, can do, where you can get these collectibles. Well, there's a bunch of these challenges. So, another way you can get collectibles um stanley cup event collectible pack so i mean there's a bunch of them um some of them you get the carbon collectibles for the uh jordan bennington challenges and the sergey gauntlet challenges and the kutrov challenges so what that's um that's four carbon collectibles right there that you can get uh in order to you know get your set players and obviously you got the stanley cup round one challenges which um you get stanley cup event collectible packs for all of them uh, which is nice. So drop a like, subscribe, man. Tell me what you think about this event. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.